Uh, hi everyone, just want to give a quick demonstration of our new uh, almost zero touch uh, deployment strategy. This is a just a demonstration. This is not a completed product yet. We're still testing this. This is mainly meant as a demonstration for management uh, to show uh, as a progress report and for training the other people on our team. So let's see, so right away, it, this should be pretty close to what the user sees. This computer was just re-imaged, uh, just freshly wiped. This should be just like the user just took one out of the box. Uh, it picks up our remote management immediately. And let's see, this will go on ahead and install the enrollment profiles, create the help desk account, and get the process started. This part takes a few minutes, but while we're waiting, I just want to give a quick shout out to the two Richards, Richard Garner, the chief engineer at University of San Diego. He's actually a desktop technician, but he's the chief engineer for the Zero Touch project. Um, he's incredible, and he's the one that primarily did most of the grunt work on this. And also the other Richard, Richard Purvis, who we met at JNUC 2022, and we saw his demonstration of his implementation of this and how he solved this for his company. And that's what kind of brought us to this point today. So thanks to both Richards. Okay, it's all basic stuff set up. As you can see, instead of going to the Mac OS login, it takes them directly to our Azure login. And I'll go on ahead and sign in. Again, this isn't a completed product, but we've gotten pretty far. This will actually go on ahead and create the accounts. Uh, it should automatically start up our USD software installer and pull down all of our packages, Microsoft Office, all that stuff. And so give it a few minutes. Let's hang out and wait and see how it goes. There we go. So right now let's do the auto name. Updating the inventory, checking in the jam for the first time. And now I've tested this from home, both over wireless and wired. Right now I'm doing it over a wired ethernet connection just for the sake of expediency so this video isn't too long. But if their wireless is fast, it's, it only takes a couple more minutes than ethernet. It's not bad at all. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, this demonstration is being done at home. I am completely off the USD campus and there is no VPN of any type enabled. So this should be exactly what a brand new remote user sees when they first set the, attempt to set this up.
what are we up to now? Google Drive. Installing Office As you can see, the Office 2021 package is rather large, so even on my home fiber connection uh, on Ethernet, this part takes a while. With that being said, we are only nine minutes into this video, and that's considerably less time than it takes to stage the computer locally with, with Jamf, or, or, or maybe it's about the same. Depending on the computer, it'll take anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes on campus.
because the office has been installed. Office is being serialized right now. So everything's all done. This is now a usable system. Oh, it looks like it's going to be doing one more restart. Let's just, we'll just leave it alone and let it do its thing. Now Richard is, I believe, working on some type of way to suppress some of those notifications that pop up. But it may not matter if they go away when the system is rebooted. So. systems rebooting we sign back in again It's also something that we're working on. Uh, it asks for a secondary sign-in. I believe Richard is working on that. And as I said, this is still, a demo, still mainly a demonstration uh, and a progress report. So the, these small uh, glitches will get fixed probably very soon. And so that's it. This is officially a usable computer for the user. Now for those that uh, are don't understand the value of this, uh, let's say people outside of USD that may be watching this video. Um, so as you can see, all the notifications came back. So we'll have to work on a way to, to get those suppressed via the script somehow. The benefit of this is that this, when we get to the right point, this computer can be shipped directly from Apple to a brand new remote user across the country, never having to actually come to the IT department here, and they'll have this experience get a computer that's bound to our network, managed by us. Uh, it's, it, it really changes the entire nature of how we can support remote users and eventually everyone on the campus. So this is a really, really amazing thing. And I, once again, I want to thank Richard Garner and Richard Purvis for all the hard work they put into this. And of course, the whole entire Apple team at USD as well, which is myself, Eric, Steve, uh, and Bruce. So anyway, oh, guys, have a nice day. That's the end of the demonstration. And I'm signing off now. Bye.